Edelkrone has a new product. Which, yeah, the Jib One. Yeah. Which yeah. do you remember the name of the of the one that they showed us a few years ago? Uh, that but it was a little bit different than this. But the, the Jib One is in essence a fully motorized jib. Yeah. Right? It's it's a motion controlled jib. Uh, pretty rad, uh, and it of course works with all their other tools and stuff. But like it by itself is twelve hundred bucks, which you know for me I usually wince at the idea of a jib, usually because it takes another person and you, you want to have a relationship if if you're shooting in that way, or just the idea that it's far much more work to bring out a jib, get the shot than it is to like bring out a motorized gimbal or a drone and get the same exact shot. So I uh, usually uh, go, no, I, I'm not interested, but this thing's pretty cool. We, we kind of hemmed and hawed about it until we kind of saw it. And it's like, you can have a motorized jib with a robotic pan tilt zoom and follow focus all where you can add, go from point to point. That's yeah. crazy. It's like, just a, it's like another addition to their pretty modular system of motion control. Right? Yeah, uh, exactly. And they just they, they always do such uh, incredibly beautifully engineered products. Uh, they always look really nice, uh, as you can see on well, as we can see on the images of it. Like it takes the LPE six batteries, like everything does. So mm -hmm. it's like if you're a Canon shooter, you just like awesome. You're going to have plenty of extra batteries to to uh, you know have in a pinch. Um, and it's just it's just really cool to be able to think of keyframing a full jib shot with robotic head. Like that's cool. I mean, you could set this up I and mean, this might as well be a full robotic arm, right? That's moving everything around. Uh, you could act in the scene that you're directing in and DPing in uh, because it could be all fully automated if you hit your marks and all the rest. I mean, it'd be difficult, but that's pretty crazy to think of uh, at, at that kind of level of production. Do you remember that product that came out years ago, the one man crew? Oh yeah. Yeah. The one man crew that was uh, uh, Red Rock Micro, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. So that the big thing about that was that um, you set it up and then it just like slides back and forth, slides on an arc so that it stays in focus the whole time. And you you set it up and you set it on a loop and it just goes back and forth. And actually we had the same thing with the uh, the Rhino. What's the whole system called, the, uh, that Rhino system? Do you remember? Um, it's, uh, I have it right here. It's the Arc 2 is one I have right now. So same thing, it slides back and forth. You set it on a loop, slides back and forth, smooths the motion out. This is kind of like the same thing, only jib form, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. And the, the, we'll, we'll do looping, I know. Yeah, I mean, I, I could just think of like, you know, being able to set keyframes. I don't know how many keyframes. That always ends up being the, uh, the catch on these things is when they're first released, usually you only have like from point A to point B. You don't have like five or six other places it can go in the interim, which would make the thing more interesting. Uh, you know, I, I think of like, you know, sh going from a, a, a train going around a tree to being able to get a full frame shot of the tree, all motor, you know, all just specific. That just sounds really cool. It sounds like you could do a, just a absolutely stunning, beautiful shot being able to do all that. But I think all in with all of their stuff. So tripod and uh, pan, tilt, zoom, follow focus, jib one is like $5,500. So it's it's no pretty penny. The the, the one-man crew was kind of interesting in that like you had lasers that you set stuff to and it went on an arc just so it's stuff stayed in focus, right? Uh, whereas like uh, this has a follow focus, the, the arc two, uh, so you just change your focal point so it changes over time yeah. uh, instead of it going over an arc. You said the Jib One looked like it had um, lasers sure too. With the laser too. I mean, the laser might be for one of the other elements. I don't know. If it's, it's part, you know, for the Jib. Either way, it should be helpful in some way or another. Uh, they um, came out with actually, they announced. I don't even know if it was an announcement. It might have just been a prototype years ago. A Jib where boy, what was it called? I don't remember. It might have not even had a name. But uh, Edelkron had a Jib where uh, the head was you set it to like look at a point and then no matter where you move the camera, it was always looking at that point and in focus. Do you remember that? Yeah. Thing? Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and I remember asking when we're going to get one, that kind of stuff. And then it's not a product anymore. Yeah. Um, but this was, this is somewhat similar except for it's not following someone. Um, I actually remember that same year, Red Rock Micro uh, released a, a similar product that was really just a, a software that was looking at people and estimating its distance and then controlling a follow focus to then change that. And I think that was the, 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 
man, I can't remember the name of it. I think we gave it an award because it was pretty innovative. Yeah. Uh, and this is this is kind of the almost maybe the brother of that one. It's uh, it, it's almost that same thing, but I don't think it's following anyone. Uh, well, it seems like you know Edelkron attends NAB like every other year or something, and whenever they do, they they have some sort of um, you know accessible, uh, highly innovative piece of gear, and I think this is uh, just another instance of that. I've never and, seen a, a, a motorized jib before. Yeah, you know, their stuff is pretty. Like it, it reminds me of why you'd buy your your macbook pro with your apple watch and all that kind of stuff is like it's not necessarily you need the performance from any of them is that it's nice to be seen with them mm -hmm. and i feel like the the metal chrome stuff uh it just looks nice uh i you know just like anything it'll age because it's a production tool but that like they they just have that that extra look which i think a lot of times people are like ooh. And you know you get a, they get a little premium for it, but there's a lot of their stuff that's just innovative, and no one else offers something like it. Right. 